There are many ways to measure economic development. In this video, I provide a brief introduction to some of the most commonly used ones, drawing distinctions between measures of development, growth, and inequality. Economic development refers to the overall level of prosperity in a country. It is most commonly measured by the gross domestic product, or GDP. GDP measures the total market value of all goods and services produced in an economy. When we seek to compare this over time and across countries, we will standardize it in several ways. One is to divide GDP by the population of a country, giving us GDP per capita. Another is to refer to constant dollars, essentially taking into account variation in the value of currencies over time. Wealthy countries typically have a GDP per capita of more than $30,000 a year, while the poorest have GDP per capita below $500 a year. Other measures of development will take matters such as the cost of living into account. Purchasing power parity, or PPP, does just that. Economic growth refers to change in GDP over time. Most Western economies are set up to require positive growth rates of at least 2% to keep standards of living and development consistent. Economies starting off at a low level of development, though, often experience much higher levels of growth as they uh, develop. But at very high growth rates can be accompanied by inflation and other factors that will later depress growth. When countries have a negative growth rate, it is usually called an economic contraction. The last set of measures used to evaluate countries' economies are measures of inequality, how evenly income is distributed between the rich and the poor in a country. Inequality can be thought of in three ways. First, the poverty rate. A country's poverty line is the level of income needed to maintain a basic standard of living in that country. The poverty rate is the percent of people living below that line. The second are deciles and quintiles. Measures of the distribution of income in a country can also be measured by examining the income levels of people in the top 20% or 10%, or bot and bottom 10 or 20%. Finally, one common measure of income inequality is called the Gini coefficient. It takes into consideration how much wealth is being held by which percentage of the population, and is measured ranging from 0 to 1, where higher numbers mean more inequality. These measures all refer to income and economic production. There are many other ways to measure development and prosperity, including access to public services, measures of health and education, such as infant mortality and literacy, even measures of happiness. The measure you choose should depend on what outcome you're actually interested in, quality of life, or economic production. 